My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for The Expendables 2. And when I first saw this movie in 2012, I loved it. I thought it was hilarious, I thought the action was great, and I just had a blast with it. But I just rewatched it for the first time in quite a while and unfortunately it doesn't really hold up. It's mediocre at best. But let's begin talking about the cast. And Sylvester Stallone can be a great actor. I think he gave a great performance in the Rocky movies, in First Blood, I like him in Cobra. He's not a bad actor, but these movies, it just feels like he's sleepwalking through them. So, not a fan of his work here. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, I thought, did a really good job as a villain. Uh, Liam Hemsworth, <laughs> um, he's not good and you just, the f second time you see him, you just know he's going to die. His role in this story is so obvious from the get-go and yeah, he's not good in this movie. Jason Statham once again gives the best performance. I just feel like he has so much charisma and personality. Jet Li doesn't have much to do here. Nan Yu is fine at best. Dolph Lundgren is the good guy again in this movie and he's fine at best. Chuck Norris, I haven't actually seen any of his movies but he's not a good actor here at all. I do like the fact they lean into the Chuck Norris jokes, but um, his performance is really flat. Arnold Schwarzenegger has more to do here, and you can tell he's having fun. Bruce Willis is fine. Uh, Terry Crews does a fine job, and Scott Atkins. I know this sounds odd, but he just looked like evil Ben Stiller to me here, but he does a fine job. So the cast is very hit or miss with most people. In the middle. Uh, this one's directed by Simon West instead of Sylvester Stallone and I do think the action is an improvement here. You do got some cool moments every now and again but so much of this movie is just characters shooting non-stop and the good guys never get hit, the bad guys always get hit and it's just very dull, it's very uninteresting. There's no real vision or style to this movie, so I really wish they put in a bit more effort with the action. Uh, the constant references and jokes don't really work for me. Like, you're gonna get terminated, or I'll be back. No, you've been back already. I'll be back. Yippee Kale. Like, it can be very cringeworthy at times. Uh, so I don't know if the constant references to the actor's old movies worked at all. In fact, it kind of just distracted and took me out of the movie. And the revenge crest doesn't work at all. Like I said, you know Liam Hemsworth is going to die from the moment he's introduced. But like, it'd be much more effective if you had someone like Jet Li or Dolph Lundgren or Terry Crews or someone like that die. Because it just feels like the action stars are invincible here, so they had to bring in someone else. So yeah, like I do think this movie has more entertainment value than the first one. It's got some decent moments here and there. It's short enough, there's some good performances, but it's only mediocre. The action isn't as good as it should be. The references aren't great. Some of the performances are very bad, so I'll give The Expendables 2 a 5 out of 10 with a slight recommendation. Okay, have you seen The Expendables 2? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.